Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a raccoon. I take three fingers in the center underneath, I put a dot, and from that dot going towards the right, I draw a curved line down on the right, come back to the dot, I draw a curved line down on the left. I come back to the right and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna draw a curved line up, curved line down, draw that a little bit, connect, come on the right hand, I mean the left hand side, curve line up, curve line down, I'm going to bring this line a little bit down, connect. I come inside on the right and I'm going to draw those lines again. I draw a curve line up, curve line down, connect on the right, come on the left, curve line up, curve line down, connect on the left. Now right here where my dot is, I'm going to draw straight line, curve line, straight line up, back to the dot, and connect. I come on the left hand side, starting right about here at the bottom, I'm going to draw a big curve line out, in, connect on the left, come on the right hand side, big curve line out, in, up, connect. Okay? I'm going to add a little line right here to make that more of a connection. I come back inside and I'm just going to draw a curved line down, connect on the left, come back inside, I'm going to draw a curved line down, inside on the right. Come back to the left and I'm going to draw a baby circle and a little baby circle inside on the left. Come on the right, draw another baby circle and a little baby circle right inside on the right. Come back to the left. I draw a curve line down on the left. Come back on the right, curve line down, connect. Right here in the center, I'm just going to draw a little curve line and then I'm going to go one, two, little curve lines out, one, two, three, little curve lines out. Come back to the top and over here on the right we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down off the page. Come on the left hand side, right here I'm just going to draw another wavy, wavy line off the page. Come inside and right about here I'm just going to draw a wavy line down, you can cross over your whiskers on the left, wavy line down, on the right. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do, and this is very, very important, I'm going to take a purple crayon and I'm going to color, put a line of purple around my baby circles for his eyeballs. And the reason why is because it's all black on black when we start coloring, like right now, and I don't want my eyes to disappear into his mask. So I'm first going to color real careful around that little reflection circle, black on the right and black on the left, okay? Try and keep that little reflection circle white. Sometimes I color it in by accident too. Now I take my black crayon and I can color his mask. And I want to color that pretty dark black. You can kind of color over the purple but now you can see how his eye kind of pops a little bit. Same thing on the left, color the black. Bring it up. You can still see his eye. Now I take my black and I color this middle space black. I color the inside part of my ears black. You definitely need a black crayon for this project. And this is his nose. I color his nose 
black. Now he's a furry animal, so what I'm going to do is every place I have a black line, I'm going to go over it with a wavy line and I'm going to use a gray crayon. Now if you don't have gray, you can use black, um, sorry, you can use brown because they do have a little bit of brown in them. But every time I see a line, I'm going to color or go over it with my gray crayon and that's just to give it a little bit more furriness. Bring it down, you can do this part, bring it up, this part, you can come in and do this part on the inside, and definitely you can do the outside part. These are like wavy, wavy line, fur lines, okay? Takes a while, take your time. If you're pressing so hard your hand hurts, you're pressing it too hard. Now I come in and I can color this space gray on the right, and this space gray on the left and I'm going to color this section up top gray also. The rest I'm just going to leave white. Now, he looks like he needs some color so I'm going to give him a green straight line background. We have raccoons where I live. They're pretty funny. They can be dangerous animals though. Gotta be careful around them. Okay. Let's see what this guy looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my raccoon all colored in. You can see I almost lost his eyeballs. You gotta get that purple line on there really dark. And don't be surprised if your raccoon looks different than maybe your neighbor's raccoon. I've drawn this raccoon a couple of times and each time he looks a little bit different. Okay, bye bye.